Okay, so in my last video, I showed you just how well Nier Automata plays on Linux, and therefore how well you can play video games, you know, you can actually play games on Linux. And there are a pretty good number of videos that show you how to set up Steam to be able to do this. And if that were the only thing that, that I would be showing you, <clears throat> then I wouldn't be adding anything new. And so in addition to showing you how to set up Steam to be able to play non-Steam, non-Linux games, I'm also going to show you how to set up your, your uh, system, how to set up your Steam uh, platform, so that you can also install mods. So... What you're going to have to do is install Proton Tricks. So first, let's go into a terminal. And I have this cranked way the fuck up so that you can actually see what I'm writing. Hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. There. Normally the terminal is a lot smaller, but I have the text cranked way up so that you can actually read what I'm writing on that tiny little YouTube screen. So first, you're going to want to, and this is all, this, I already have all this installed, so it's not actually going to do anything. Pseudo apt F, this F right here, this means find out what dependencies this stuff needs and then download those dependencies. And then once you're done downloading those dependencies, then get the things that I actually type here. So first you want to get Steam and, oh, right, fuck. Install. Yeah. Install Steam. It didn't do anything because I already have Steam installed. And then, if you try to look up Proton Tricks on the Steam website, you're uh, you're not going to find a whole lot of help. And so first, you got to install Wine. And so Wine is here. Let's see. Oops, too far. There we go. So just go ahead and pause the video. I'll include the, all these links in the description so you can just click on them. And then follow these instructions here. Pseudo so app get is really old, so it's recommendable that you just use apt. It's a lot better. apt install wine stable and wine. 32 and again I already have this installed it's not going to do anything and then uh, do this wine config fuck wine configure and it's going to open up this little text box default settings you want to go down here here Want to go down here and then make sure that it says Windows 10. And then click Apply, OK. Yeah. Apply, OK. I already have it set up. And then this stuff you don't need to do. Then install Wine Tricks. Again, it's not going to do anything because I already have it installed. Pseudo app install wine tricks. Play on Linux is not actually necessary. You don't need to install this. This is basically just a graphical front end to, uh, you know, basically install and use Windows applications. If you want to install it, go right ahead. There's not really much of a need to. And then if you go on either, you know, DuckDuckGo or Ecosia.org or 
any other search engine and look up how to install Proton Tricks, you're probably going to find this this page. This is from the official Python website. If you can believe it, this is actually not the right way to install Proton Tricks. Pip is kind of old, and so there's a better way, which these guys actually tell you, and you can find this at this page, github.com, Motto King Proton Tricks, and they give you full instructions on how to do it, depending on which version of Linux you have, whether it's whether you use Arch, by the way, or whether you're on any Debian-based distro, such as Ubuntu, which is what I'm on. I, this is ex-Ubuntu. It's Ubuntu with the XFCE desktop, or any one of the other ones. There are lots and lots and lots of Debian-based distros. Fedora, you can install Steam and all this other stuff on Fedora, and... Uh, Unless you know what you're doing, don't don't even bother looking at this because you're just going to pull your hair out. Anyway, so you install, you go here. Now you can really just search copy. Terminal. And if you want to control paste in the terminal, it's actually control shift V and not just control V. So control shift V and then I like to do this, even though I don't have to because again I already have all this stuff installed. It's all the latest versions, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Didn't need to do anything. And so close and reopen your terminal. You would actually have to like actually properly close this or just open a new tab. Now what you can do, open tab, control, shift, control, T. But I, again, I don't have to because I already have it installed. And then you do this right here. Oops. Pip install Proton Tricks. Force to force installation. This is... Now, it's not installing to existing directory because, again, I already have it installed. It didn't need to do anything. And then once you've gotten all of this set up, then you go into Steam. Now, the way that you actually set up your... Uh, your Steam platform to be able to play non-Steam games. Kind of wish I could... Okay, so Steam. Go on here. I'm going to try to go slowly because if I go too fast I understand that you know, it'll be hard to follow. So, you know, because of like the way that this screen moves. Okay, so Steam, go into here, go down into Settings, and then you want to go all the way down here to the bottom. It says Steam Play. And I already have this turned on, but if you have just barely downloaded Steam, then a lot of this is going to be turned off. And so first, you want to say Enable Steam Play for all other titles. And then you want to go in here and turn on Proton Experimental or Proton Beta, etc., etc. Basically, whatever the latest version is, Proton Experimental. Run other titles with. Okay. And then press OK. And then at this point, normal. I'm going to zoom out again. At this point, normally it would start downloading a bunch of other stuff, and then it would ask you to turn off Steam and then turn it back on again so that the changes can take effect. And so once you've done that, and then once you've turned it off and turned it back on again, then you can just go into 
store featured, let's say, did you count? Library. Yeah, light, yeah, okay, library. And then you can see that all of these games, like, a lot of these games are not available for Linux. But because I've set up, and, you know, now you, because we've set up Wine, wine Tricks and Proton Tricks, and, but the Proton DB, uh, what is it, the Proton DB engine. And if it's not actually properly called an engine, don't at me in the comments. I don't want to hear it. And, yeah, you see how all of this is now available to you. A bunch of these I've already downloaded, and, uh, yeah, some of them like this one, Fishing Planet. Uh, these are the ones I haven't downloaded yet. So, what else? What else do you need to know? Right, if you want to uh, check other people's experiences with games... On DB, just Proton DB, Proton DB, gaming reports for Linux using Proton and Steam. Okay, it's protondb.com. There. Where's Proton DB? There we go. New tab. And this is the ProtonDB website. Now, you, it can be kind of confusing at first because you would think, like, okay, well, I'll just find instructions on how to download ProtonDB from the website. Well, they, they don't have instructions. This is actually a forum. And so you go up here, you know, search games. Let's say near Tomata. And it will give you a bunch of names. Fuck, it's still zoomed out a little bit. Okay, there. Yeah, and it'll give you a bunch of names. You know, you just pick one, pick whichever one it is you want to look up. And then here are a bunch of people who have reported on their experiences with using, you know, this particular game using ProtonDB. And so if you ever want to check just how compatible something is, and over here... It'll show you their specs, which version of Proton they're using, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So anytime you want to check and find out, this is the place to go. What else? Oh, and uh, to find mods. You got to go to this website called Nexus Mods. And if you don't remember how to find that, just Nexus Mods. Nexus Mods and Community, it'll be the very first website. And you just type in, I already have it here. This is the HD texture pack for Nier Automata. But if you, uh, you know, if you come in from the main page, Nier HD Texture No results. Hmm. What Nier HD? Interesting. I actually found it through the Steam forums. Well, in that case, do, 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 do. back. How do I go back? Here it is. Ah, fuck. There we go. Okay, so. For some reason, it didn't show it immediately. Okay, so here it is. Near Automata Texture Pack. So for, you put in, I mean, yeah, you type in Near HD, whatever. I'd, I would imagine it should probably be the first result. And here you go. And then, where is this? 
installation manual actually let me go back and just uh, yeah so right here manual And then because at the current time I'm unfortunately living in Canada, my internet is terrible, so even 2 megabits per second is still faster than the internet that I have. <laughs> so I don't even, I, ha I don't have, there's no point in me paying for the premium. So you just pick slow download. Now I already have it. So then what? Where is my terminal here? Okay, so I know that I already have it, and that is in this system supplement. This is a, a, a directory that I made. This is probably not going to be in your cyberpunk font. Yeah, and there it is, the near automata texture pack. Okay, so. You you have to actually put this in the folder where you have whatever game it is that you're adding a mod to. This doesn't just apply to Nier Automata, obviously. Like, this could be any mod for any game that you're modding that you downloaded through Steam. Okay? Any, any game at all, any mod at all, the process is the same. So... First of all, depending on which distro of Linux you have, your Steam games could be in a, in a different location. And it also doesn't help that Steam themselves have changed this location sometimes more than once a year, uh, depending on however somebody's feeling at the time. So in order to find, rather than trying to look it up and getting lost and seeing the instructions and seeing other people you know be, be like oh thank you so much for posting this and then you try it and it doesn't work so rather than that just look for it directly start from this this right here you know, right that little yellow squiggle right there that means the home folder okay so like i in fact pwd print working directory i am at home Okay, this is my home directory. So I can say find, and this is a great little tool, find beginning from here. Okay, that's one single dot. Find me things that are of type, and then you want directories, when, you know, folders, a proper name for a folder is a directory. So type D for directory. And then I name, but now, I, there's also name. Name is case sensitive. I name is case insensitive. So I name, and you got to put quotes around it because if you don't put quotes, then it'll just find the very first thing, the very first thing that it identifies. It'll just stop. Okay, so you got to put quotes around it so that it finds everything that contains this. At the beginning, put an asterisk, and this means any string of text, any string of letters or numbers or whatever. And because there's, you're not putting another asterisk over here, then that means that this is the ending. Okay, so any it can start with anything, but it has to end in this. And because we're saying I, you know, insensitive name, it can be either uppercase or lowercase because I've seen it listed uppercase, I've seen it listed lowercase. So rather than trying to guess, you know, which one it is, just turn everything into lowercase and just look for everything case insensitively. And so go ahead and press enter. There. 
And so now you see this, this little dot. See, because there's this, steam, logs, and this is basically just where it keeps its information. But your actual your actual games, like you know, you'd see how there's a lot of this other stuff here: Debian installation, Steam, Steam apps, Compact Data, blah blah blah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all this other bullshit. And so you know that this is dot little s Steam. This is where your actual. This is where you should be looking. So now we can do this again. Okay, and I'm just going to press Control W to delete backwards. Okay, so dot steam. I name and then put another one. And then look for just a little string of text that's contained in a game that you know for an absolute fact that you definitely have for sure so i'm just gonna say near okay so it's so rather than looking because you remember how uh you know it was find this little dot that means here instead of looking here which is the home directory look here in dot steam okay not you know the capital steam but the dot steam any dot anything is a hidden folder or hidden file so begin looking in dot steam and search insensitively case insensitive for anything and everything that contains the letters N I E R in it in a row. And then go ahead. And, okay, so now we have this. We have Steam, DB, and installation, apps, common, blah, blah, blah. And then we get to this near automata. Yeah, and then we have other things. So near automata slash near dot exe. Okay. That is an actual exe file. That's a Windows file. And Linux is able to open that because we downloaded Wine, Wine Tricks, and Proton. It's really most of all based on Wine. And DBNA installation, seed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now we know that this is where we should be looking. And we see that this head folder is this one. So. CD could change directory is that means go to this other different folder so steam debian installation and then you know, you say steam apps so steam apps common and this is where this uh, this folder is the near folder so we'll just go to common okay so now Actually, let me. There. So you have this Detroit Become Human, which I'm currently in the process of downloading. Yeah, this one. DoyX. Uh, and this is the Game of the Year edition. Uh, endless Spout. Yeah. So this is where all my games are. And so now, you can say Print Working Directory. And so now you know that this. You know, rather than having to look it up and then finding the quote-unquote answer online of somebody who found uh, their location in a different place and then just posts the raw location and then you try to look for it and you can't find it. S rather than that, rather than struggling with uh, a constantly ever-changing location, you can just look for it directly and just find it immediately. So, so now we're in common. Remember how I have system so let's find all any and all zip. Okay, so cyberpunk font and near tomata texture pack. So I'm gonna you gotta go into 
the uh, the folder of the game that you that you want to add the mod to. Okay, right, so we're gonna go into near. Now, as you can see, I've actually already uh, already extracted this. This is far res. You see that far underscore res, and then there's this other one. Rename far res to sk res, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, blah blah. These. Uh, what is it? These uh, come from this unzip. Okay, let me just say list, so it doesn't actually unzip the uh, the file. And so it's just near, and then <clears throat> if all I'm doing is just unzip listing it, it's going to list it here in the terminal, and I don't want that. So I'm going to send that into less, and so I'm just going to press. Now this is, you know, you see how these here, these are all the, the things that are in this zip file. So I'm going to press F to go forward, B to go back, little g to go up to the top, and then big G to go down to the bottom. And 332 files. And so... You can see it's unzip, and then the path to this thing, you know, near automata texture pack, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it's going to unzip this to whatever location that I'm in, which at this point is here. Now again, I've already done it. And... That should be it. So next time that you go into, where is it? Next time that you go into your uh, your game, whichever one it is, it should be able to add, you know, use that mod that you added basically right away. Now this will take a while because Nier is actually an enormous game. It's it's quite huge. But yeah, you can see that it works. Works just fine. And there you go. That is how you set up, not only set up your Steam platform to be able to play non-Linux games. Oh, yes. So that, uh, yeah, that is how, you, not only how you set up your Steam platform to play non-Linux games, but also how you add mods. So, there you go. Have a nice day, and see you in the next video.